Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's send good evening to all of you. Welcome to the celebration of our Holy Mass, celebrating the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, as well as celebrating the feast of your patroness, Saint Philomena. So allow me first to greet you. Happy Fiesta. Happy Feast Day to all of you. How come you're not smiling? It's your fiesta. <laughs> My dear friends, we gather as a faith family, mindful of God's bountiful blessings that has been disposed to us every moment of our lives. In a little while, we're going to hear from the Gospel reading about the offer of Jesus to all of us. He said, I am the bread from heaven. As we celebrate the sacred mysteries, the Holy Mass, we will encounter the living presence of Jesus in our midst when the bread and wine are transformed substantially into his own body, blood, soul, and divinity. And so with grateful hearts and joyful spirit, we welcome the saving grace of God in this Holy Eucharist, the bread of life. I invite you now to bow down your heads in prayer and worship to recognize our sins and as we remember and acknowledge our sinfulness we're going to have the sprinkling of the holy water mindful of our own baptismal commitment they're not ready so let us might as well pray I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what they have done and in what they have failed to do to my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for that, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked and there at his head was a hurt cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God. Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Destroy. 
Jesus, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Angel of the Lord encamps around them to fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you, along with all malice, and be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, You stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be thought by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from he comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen. I say to you, 